Hi, it's John. Today I'm looking at getting two amps together to make one really big sound in smaller gigs and a really manageable sound. It sounds really big, but it's controllable for venues that might not sort of be the biggest or you need a, a more controlled sound rather than taking your big Fender Twin and Marshall Stack or whatever. So what I'm doing is I'm using two Fender Blue Studios. I'm using one side with a load of reverb and delay on it and one with no effects at all, just the amp doing its thing. Uh, it's a bit like a wet dry sort of setup for the common man if you like but uh, the, the pedal I'm using to get this effect is a radial big shot ABY switch you can see that there so I've just taken delivery of this it's a Canadian made pedal it's really really well built first looking at it um, an ABY switch what it does is it sends to amp A and sends to amp B when you plug your guitar in or any pedal or whatever so you have a or B and then Y means they plug together so you can use two amps at the same time it's a really usable sounding thing and it's it's fantastic so some of the problems that come up when you're putting two things together on in one guitar you, you sometimes get like phase problems and things so what this has if you can just see in the middle it's got these three little switches here the first one is a ground lift which takes away all that noise and hum and then you've got a phase inverter switch which sometimes amps can be out of phase all you got all you got to do if, if it sounds out of phase and really thin flick that switch and it's back in they sound really good and then the last thing it has an isolation transformer so if you've got even more hum in a loud venue with big neon lights or whatever flick that and then all the noise goes away so it's a really really usable pedal it's got a good toggle so you can go amp a amp b or y both together it's really really wicked way of getting a cool sound so what I'm gonna do is zoom into the pedals and show you how it fits on my board and then do some playing and show you how it goes so before I zoom out here's a quick look at the pedals I'm using there's a Boss TU2 tuner into a Zvex effects distortron distortion pedal then an EP booster from exotic effects into the ABY pedal and then out of output B I'm going to a clean amp with no reverb on it and then on output A, I've got a Boss DD3 going into an amp with reverb on it. So I've got a wet and a dry sounding amp. So looking at this small gigging setup, what I've got is two Fender Blues Junior combos. I've got one set with no reverb on it, and I've got one set really wet with loads of reverb on it. And then I've got some delay going to one amp. So what I can do is just show you those sounds. So I'm going to show you the contrast between the dry side and the wet side. So this is the combo with no reverb. nice sounding on its own and then what I'm going to do is just go over to the wet sound and then on that side I've got the delay going through and I've got this really heavily set it's a bit more than that habit sort of gigging wise just for the purposes of demonstration so real big delay sort of over the top edge kind of thing going on so what happens when I put both amps on together you get all the clarity of the clean side mixed with the wet side which sounds phenomenal so I'm going to turn that delay back off and I'm just going to highlight both together so you still get all of that wash of all the reverb but you get the clarity and punch of your notes <laughs> in the delay you get some really good stuff going on sounds like with mixing a distortion pedal in now so I've got it really heavily set with loads of drive on it again it's a bit more than I would normally gig with but for the purposes of showing you the difference so I'm going to show you on the dry side first of all <laughs> huge 
true sound from a little amp. Then I'm going to go over to the wet sound, show you with all the reverb. <laughs> wet for anyone's sort of sound really it sounds good but it's a bit of a useless sort of sound if you're going to record it so putting it together makes it really usable and sound great <laughs> too messy but it sounds okay with this. <laughs> Hope that gives you a good insight into using two amps for gigs. It's really doable, it's not hard to do at all and it sounds killer. If you have any questions please get in touch.